presence of the Lord. Say, Lord, we hand over tonight's meeting unto you. Say, Lord, we have not come before any man but before you. Come and have your way. Holy Spirit divine, take charge of today's meeting. Can you open your mouth and pray? Holy Spirit divine, take charge of today's meeting. Can we invite the presence of the Lord? The presence of the Lord. We are handing over. If the presence of the Lord takes over to this meeting, we hand over. No matter how difficult, no matter how long that situation has been, handing over. It will be taken care of. Holy Ghost, we invite you to tonight's meeting. We are handing over. Shaba gada la brahadusha. We are so balanebo shatala bahi katala brush. We are so balanebo shatala bahi katala brush. We are so balanebo Holy Ghost, we invite you. We are Holy Spirit of God, we invite you. We are so balanebo shatala bada. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit of God, come and take your place. Come and have your way. Take your place. Come and take your place. Oh, oh Lord, Holy Spirit divine. Come and take the charge of my place. Oh Lord, we beseech you, oh God. Now without you, our coming here is in vain. Come and take our shout of place. But we recognize your presence. Come and pray. That our worship will be meaningful to you. Our prayer to be meaningful. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Sit upon the door. Come on, it's meeting. It will be a remarkable one. Kupato kota hita. Swapate reketo Mantete li prate kuta hita yabosha. Holy Ghost, breathe upon us tonight. That every man, every woman that will come here, we cannot do. We have an encounter with you, oh God. We cannot do. We cannot do. We cannot do without you. Shabala bada. Oh Lord. Eka pate ni prada gaza. Help us. We cannot do without you. Tonight may we find you. We cannot do without you. May we find you. May we find you. May we find you. May we find you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we commit our our, our fellows that are on their way that the Lord will lead them ears and sound those that are on the traffic that the, the Lord will make a way for them to come here on time those that are still at home contemplating whether to come or not let the Holy Ghost visit them that they will come to this meeting tonight Holy Spirit of God will commit our fellow brothers and sisters that on their way coming. You never change. That you will lead them down. You never change. You never change. To this church safe and sound. You never change. that you lead them here safe and sound. You never change. You never change. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. You never change. Thank you Jesus. You never change. Thank you Jesus. You never change. Thank you, Jesus. You never Bless the name of the Holy Name. You never change. In Jesus, you never mighty change. name, pray. Amen. Now you pray this prayer for yourself. You that are here earlier enough. You say, Lord, tonight, do for me what I cannot do for myself. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Say, Lord, I am in your presence. Do for me. What my uncle, my father cannot do for me. Open your mouth and say those prayers. Baba, we are in your presence. Our we trust, are in your presence. Our trust is in you. 
do for us. Do for us what we cannot do for us. Let it fall on us. Let it fall on us. Manana mashana na makasi. Da flood ge. Iko tu manteli prada gada bana. Ina bon. Itu rabata lebo shanda la basanta. Ankosiare. Ita la basanta la bato shala brada. Tu fala. Itu kupra nege deko shala baba. Baba tu for the church. Tu for rush. What we can do for ourselves. Matua menelebo shanta la bana bos. Thank you, Jesus. And in Jesus' name, we pray. And in Jesus' supernatural name, we have prayed. Spirit divine, we worship you. We thank you for another day in your presence, especially the tenth memorial service. We have come unto you and not unto any man. We have come to beseech you and not only body but you. We have not come to see the preacher but you. Therefore, Jesus, we hand over tonight's meeting unto you. Take your place, O God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever that will be a hindrance, O God, Baba, may you show mercy. 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 In the name of Jesus. King in authority. We commit our fellow brethren on their way coming. That you will lead them here safe and sound. In the name of Jesus. Ancient of days. We pray tonight to God. That you do a remarkable thing in our life that as your children come to seek you oh god they will find you in the name of jesus i say as you seek him you will find help in the name of jesus lord we are not ignorance of the devices of the enemy but we ask oh god who silent every of the activity concerning today's meeting every conspiracy from the pit of hell concerning today's meeting will frustrate your plans in the name of jesus righteous father have your way take your place because you are god because you never fail thank you everlasting father we therefore declare this meeting open in the name of god the father i can hear your amen open in the name of god the father in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, can you lift those hands above your heads and begin to wave it, up, King of Glory? Just wave those hands in appreciation. Thank yes, you, we Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank give you, you praise. Jesus. We give thank you praise. Jesus. We give you praise. Thank, thank, you, praise. thank you because Jesus. I know today you will do greater things thank in my Jesus. life. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and give him worship. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead and give him praise. Thank you because you're great. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Continue to give him praise. Lord, Go ahead praise and worship him. You are. Thank you. We can't get are. tired of giving him Thank praise. You for the we can't be tired done. of worshiping this God. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Say you something Jesus. nice to the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your good God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider. I see the stars I see the stars Can you lift your voice and worship me? I lift the morning 
of the Lord as we offer, offer all to Him the sacrifices of thanksgiving as we offer all to Him the sacrifices of praise. Oh, 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 oh,
my soul. This love and kindness upon my body. I feel that something I want to my boots. Hallelujah! I want you to give the Lord a shout. I want you to give the Lord a shout. If you are blessed by the Lord, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When I remember the goodness of God, all His mercies upon my soul, His loving kindness upon my family, I feel a certain of a dream. I feel a certain of a dream. I feel a certain of a dream. You make me wonder, oh Baba. You they make me wonder, oh Baba. I wonder. You they make me wonder, oh Baba. I wonder. You they make me wonder, oh Baba. I wonder. You they make me wonder, oh Baba. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. You they make me wonder, oh Baba. I Hallelujah! Hallelujah! For somebody tonight, the miracle the Lord will give to you will make somebody around you to wonder. Will make your enemies to wonder. If you believe him, shout a big hallelujah! <laughs> I want you to so pick a neighbor, face your neighbor, hallelujah, face your neighbor, face your neighbor, face your neighbor, let me show you, face your neighbor.
will be in God's presence. Why not make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Okay, please, can we pick up our Bibles? Let's turn to the book of Ezekiel. We want to make some intercessions. Pick up your Bible and turn with me to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 12. Ezekiel chapter 12. Yeah, let's feast our eyes in verse 22. Ezekiel chapter 12. Verse 22. It says, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease. I didn't hear an amen. I didn't hear an amen. He says, thus says the Lord, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the day are at hand, and the effect of every vision for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of israel for i am the lord i will speak and the word that i shall speak shall come to pass it shall be no more prolonged for in your days O rebellious house will i say the word and i will perform it says the lord amen i don't know if you understand what we read here but there is a proverb in israel each time then when a program like this this program that uh, all the prophecies will not come to pass why are we coming again but god said tonight and even in this 21 days program called the memorial every word that is declared upon your life you will see the manifestation are you getting what we are saying now i don't know if this scripture is relevant to you you come to a program they gave you prophecy they prophesy word they give you revelation but then for it to manifest and a woke god said in this meeting that it will cease to happen in your life can you lift up your voice and say oh lord my father lord in this program every prophecy every prophecy that is given to me that is given to me they will manifest they will manifest can you make that a declaration Allah, God, God, can you make God, that God, a God. declaration Every can you pray? Can you pray, child of God? Give it to hey, me in this can you program. talk to the Lord? Child Lord, God. every word that you will drop God. into God. my God. life God. in God. this meeting, Papa, God. they God. will come God. to manifestation. God. They will come to manifestation. God. They will come to fruitfulness. God. They will be with my God. own. God. Will I be all your promises? Be it. made manifest in my life. Can I hear you talk to the Lord? Can you can I hear you talk to the Lord? Can I hear you talk to the Lord? Cry to the Lord, beloved of God. Lord, every word that you declare in this meeting, they will come to manifestation. They will be made fulfilled. They will be fulfilled in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I can hear your amen in Jesus mighty name we are praying amen you are going to cry oh Lord my father oh Lord my father every yoke of delay every yoke of delay over my life over my life tonight tonight they are broken they are can broken. you make that a prayer can you talk to the Lord every yoke can you talk to the Lord every yoke of delay every yoke of prolonged prophecy tonight 
by virtue of your law they are broken i can't hear you cry to the lord beloved i can't hear you talk to the lord can i hear you cry to the lord can i hear you cry to the lord can i hear you talk to the lord brethren it is not the time to look around cry to the lord say father my god every yoke of delay is broken over my life guy hey Calibra cata libre que de le bosca Requete libra cata libre que de le bos My God and my Father In the power in the name of Jesus By the power in the name of Jesus Every yoke of delay Over my life and family Is broken 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 hey in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we are praying amen we are going to cry for the mercy of god right now you are going to say by the mercy of the law is there anything in my life that is prolonging the manifestation of the word of God Lord by your mercy take it away I don't know if you understand that prayer are you are you following if there is anything in my life that is causing the prophecy the word of God the promises of God to be delayed by the mercy of the Lord Lord take it away can you cry to the Lord child of God can, it is personal if there is anything that the devil is laying hold, can you cry that the efficacy of the mercy of Jesus will speak over your life? Bible says in the book of Lamentation, he said, I will show mercy unto one, but I will show mercy. Can you seek the mercy of God? Can you seek here the mercy of God, child of God? I want you to talk to the Lord. Say, by your mercy, O oh God, whatever it is, that is in dream the manifestation of your promises over my life. Baba, by your mercy tonight, let them be rolled away. 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 I can hear you cry to the Lord. I can hear you talk to the Lord, beloved of God. Whatever it is that is delaying the manifestation of the prophecy of God, the manifestation of the promises of God in my life, Baba, by your mercy, tonight, let them be rolled away. Let them be rolled away tonight. Let them be rolled away tonight. Let them be rolled away tonight. Can you talk to the Lord? Cry to the Lord. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Brother, I want us to cry for the church. That this church, in that verse 23, the Bible says, it will cease. That proverb will cease in this church. That every word that is declared, speedily they will come to manifestation are you getting what i'm saying you are going to cry for the church that right from this night see why i read that scripture is so that you can lay god you can lay all to god by his word you can say lord by your word in ezekiel chapter 12 verse 23 that saint peter's it will cease to be mentioned that when a prophecy is given when a declaration of the word of god is spoken it will manifest speedily can we lift up our voice and say my father my father over saint peter's around on me every word that is declared the 
they will go speedily can you make that a cry can you talk to the lord can you talk to the lord hi it will cease it will no longer be associated with us the word of god will be coming speedily the manifestation of the promises of god will be evidence for all to see can you talk to the lord can you cry to the lord uh, can you talk to the lord child of god talk to the lord talk to the lord hey Therefore, say to them, Thus says the Lord God, There shall none of my word be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, say the Lord God. I don't know the word that has been spoken over your life, but you are going to hold that scripture and cry to the Lord. Say, Lord. Every declaration over my life as a result of your word tonight, let them be done. Are you following me, child of God? Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are saying, Oh Lord, my Father. I can't hear you. Is that the best you can do? Oh Lord, my Father. Every spoken word. Every spoken word. My life over my life, Lord, they shall no longer be prolonged. Lord, they shall no longer be prolonged. They shall be done. They shall be done. Can you make that a cry to the Lord, brethren? That is the last prayer. Oh. I want you to cry to the Lord with all your heart. Every word that is spoken into your life, it might be in this program, it might be before this program, but every promise is of God. drop in my spirit and I want us to pray what is the prayer that you will behold the goodness of God you know and like 
father said to that man he said you will see it but you will not partake of it brethren the prayer tonight is that lord i will not just only behold your promise i will partake from it yeah, you did not hear what i am talking about i'm going to end this also i i am not put this prophecy may declare but they cannot experience they cannot enjoy it you are going to cry to the lord and say oh lord my father lord, my i will not only behold your promises I will, behold your promise. I will partake of your promise can you make that a cry to the lord oh, can you make that a cry child of god i will partake i will partake of your promises hey, i will not only hear the promises do it again. I will enjoy. Do it again. Father, do it again. Oh, do it again. Holy Spirit, come. Come and have your way. Holy Spirit, come. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and change my life. Come and have your way. Come and change my life. Holy Spirit, come. Come and have your way. about to visit you crucial in the land the step fast Lord of the Lord never sees his mercy is never comes to an end Fast, Lord. Oh, oh, lift up your voice. Never see Jesus. His mercy is never, never come 
and begin to worship him. I like it when you worship God. 
I like it when you open your mouth and exhort him that seated on the throne. I like it more when you begin to lift up the name of the Lord, worship him that created you, that made you, the one who was and is and is to come. The one who had I begun before the beginning began. He taught, lift up his name, worship him. He alone is God. Cry Give me praise. Miracle worker. Yes, sir. You are a miracle oh. worker. Worship him. Come and do a miracle. Miracle, miracle today. today. Come and do a miracle. Today. His name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Call him Yahweh. Yahweh. Your name. before you and I ask oh Lord that whatever need your people have come here with that Lord their needs shall be met that whatever stands as a mountain before them by the time you would have finished this night that mountain shall be rolled away in the name of Jesus Christ that infirmity will leave you that sickness will go Jesus. all those forces that militate against you you shall see them no more in the name of Jesus Amen. Lord we ask for Lord that you begin to disperse the gatherings of the wicked anywhere they have deliberately gathered to make sure that somebody here does not go with blessing Lord, locate their hideout and scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any altar within this vicinity that is waging war against the church and the people of God, anywhere you are, we send fire to you. Mm. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we pray for an open heaven that in the end, every man, every woman here will go home rejoicing. Amen. And only your name shall be praised. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Please sit.
We want to continue from where we stopped in our discussion. What we are doing is discussion. We we had an interaction yesterday and the Lord opened our eyes to what it means to be delivered from the yoke of untimely death. When I was praying after the program yesterday, the Lord showed me, he showed me one person that could have been a victim. But because he came to the program, that appointment of death was shifted. Praise God. If you read Isaiah 43, I want you to know that there are some prayers you pray that are not wrong. People may think it's wrong, but it's biblical. People who do not know God should not survive, and you who know God will die. No, God says it's wrong. Open it to the um, Isaiah 43. Let me show you something. Isaiah 43. Let me read from one. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob. Now you can put your name there. At least you have baptismal name. You have two names. Am I right? Who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Now, the assurance is this, the promise. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they will not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame be kindled upon you. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. He said, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. Now look at the verse. Verse 4. Look, look at it very well. Since thou was precious in my sight, and thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Cry out. Because you are so important and relevant. Instead of you to die, I will kill somebody somewhere. That is what this place is saying. Because you are precious. You are honorable. And I have loved you. You are too precious to die. I will shift that debt to somebody who is not relevant. Somebody who is useless. Somebody who does not know God. My God. This is for me. Hallelujah. This one is for me. Therefore, if you are a child of God, you are seated here. You are precious in the sight of God. What makes you precious? Hello. Now listen, before I begin to preach. God does not look at you as a person to help you, to bless you, to heal you. He looks at the person on the inside. Who is that person? Hey. Jesus sees you. God sees you through Jesus. Hello? God does not see you as Agnes, as Emmanuel. He sees you through his son. So any blessing that he has for you, and he looks at you, he doesn't see his son. No blessing. So what makes you precious is Jesus in you. God does not joke with anybody who is born again. He doesn't. He does not. Unless you don't know what you are doing. Unless you are born again, he's born before. If you are truly a child of God, you have assurance from heaven. A serious guarantee that no evil shall befall you. So you cannot talk about, you cannot be talking about untimely death. You have Jesus in your life. Listen, 
In Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, I want to clear some things before I begin to preach. I quoted it yesterday. Jesus said, I am he that liveth, that was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Then he said, I have the keys, cry Allah, the keys of hell, the keys of death. What is, why is he holding the key? You are no longer permitted to go to hell except by his authority. The one who has the key has the authority, has the power. When you leave the, the line of God, when you are no longer aligned with him, you begin to walk against the precepts of the word of God. If you die, you will go to hell. But as far as hell is concerned, Jesus has locked it up against you, child of God, so that you don't go there. Why did you think he went to hell? So that you don't go there. He went to hell, conquered hell, carried the key. Now, the dialogue before he collected the key was in as the Psalms 24. God revealed it to David. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, the gate of hell, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door, that the king of glory shall enter. Who is the king of glory? If you know he shouted, who is that king of glory? He's the one that has the key to life, the key to hell, the key of death. In other words, the death that is meant for you, he died it. So he collected the key, the authority. In John chapter 11, 25, he says to matter, if anyone believes in me, he said, that person will no longer die. Okay. The first day I read that place, I couldn't understand it. What does it mean I won't die? But people are dying. Hallelujah. But he said, he that liveth and believeth in me shall not taste death. So what it means that because he has the key to death, once you die here, life continues on the other side. Eternity begins. Hello? Life here, life hereafter. Where you begin to live a good life. Allow Jesus to come into your life so that things will change. Listen, everything every man of God has been saying here since 10 days will be meaningless to you unless you have Jesus. I believe God inspired the man of God who brought this program. And I'm sure many must have been benefited from it. At least I saw Koro Koro in my revelation, a man that is saved from death. He has a mark of death on him. But that death was averted yesterday. Today we want to talk about the land. That's what I was asked to talk on. Deliver your land. Deliver your land. Nobody asks for deliverance when you don't have problem. Hello? For you to seek for deliverance, it means there is what? Problem. Problem. To be delivered, to be saved, to be rescued from the personality that is stronger than you. The one who oppresses you. David says in Psalms 42 verse 9 He says, oh Lord He says, why, why do I have to go about mourning Because of the oppression of the wicked He says, oh God, you are my rock Why go I about mourning Because of what the enemy is doing to me In the end he said Oh my soul be quiet, for I shall yet praise him. No matter what is happening to you today, it shall end in praise. Amen. Your amen is suffering from spiritual kwashioko. So deliverance is only God that delivers. Hello? So when Jesus died on the cross He died to settle Three issues 
the issue of deliverance the issue of healing and the issue of salvation Jesus never rose from the dead until he has finished the issue of deliverance of healing and of salvation and then he arose and he said that all power in heaven and on earth belongs to me with this power go ye into the world and preach the gospel in my name you shall cast out devil you shall heal the sick you shall carry deadly serpents they will not hurt you you drink poison it will not hurt you in my name but somebody is seated there for 10 years you have not traveled to your village because they will kill you you are making mockery of the power of God God will be looking at you because of who who is that person when you came in a two job, Jehovah Abu, Eben Baba Mike, Onyeka, Ngatuegu ya, Obongi Madu, Kamgatuegu, Obogwe Goro, Nkenengwe Gike, Gimadu, Gedebi Kegidi, Mwaku Onyengwe Jesus, Kodere Gimma, that's all you need. Afraid of who? When I killed Python in my father's tomb, the very year I repented, I traveled home. I want to deal with some land issues. That of the things we want to talk about now. Hallelujah. Spirit told me that everything your family is going through is from the land. And I prepared. I traveled. I entered the, my father's gate. I look at his tomb, they built a house for him and I saw a python, very big one I dropped my bag at the staircase carried a very heavy stone I went there and hit it BIM the serpent in my place you don't kill such python they worship it hello I didn't know that somebody saw me. Went and reported to the elders. And they denied they knock uh, this uh, gong. That there is a meeting. I didn't know the meeting was for me. Hallelujah. Now one more Abu Reke. Eh? And we hand up here. And we hand it to your hand. Uh, as a wine, I to the elders in the morning. My, my uncles were there, some of them are still alive. Yeah. Oh, I say, Can you ask, 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 they gave me list. Very long list. Two bars of yam not there. Apocha, aqua, oji, many things. I get you well qua as a man. I look at these people. That time my zeal is him now. I'm looking for something to destroy. Somebody are now me down. Kai. There are many. And I check how you are going to go. I tell you, go to. Listen here. Supposing I don't buy these things. Only you go in here. Give me game here. Or see, can I get a bad? It's okay. Happen when I get it. My uncles now shout. Over three days, three days. Get a new guy. Three days. Niru ya eh? Where are you? After three days, I came out. Everybody was like, On your human being. Hallelujah. Why are you afraid when the whole heaven is backing you up? I can enter any shrine and tear it down. I don't have such capacity. But the one who has the capacity is living on the inside of me, the greater one. 
Which they, they don't dream shine I, that I've not turned down. I'm not in, I don't even dream that dream. Only once can I have that see who asked you to try it? Once in 33 years. Hallelujah. a result of fear. Before the real death come, they have gone. Deliver, deliver your land. I want to talk briefly on it. I tell you how the land can be delivered. What is wrong with the land? Let's look at the scriptures. Genesis chapter 1. Are you there? I want to explain some things, give you understanding of what the land represents. Then we begin to pray. I said yesterday, I remember vividly, I said that 85% of what people are suffering in Lagos or anywhere is as a result of the land that has problems. If your father's hand, land has problems, you cannot do well in Lagos. Go to America. You come back with nylon bag. Auro nala na chugoso. Allah they against you. And when you be just here, you are going to see the principles, and you now see how to deal with the land. That is what deliverance is. Genesis one twenty six to twenty eight, and I read. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created him. Male and female created he them, and God blessed them. Hmm. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. My friend, do you, did you see any cause here or blessing? You are not talking to me. I want you to respond as people who are alive in the spirit. What is this not a blessing? Now, why, why are we like this? There are a lot of blessings. It's a, be fruitful. Is there anything wrong in being fruitful? Be fruitful. Be fruitful. In, in reproduction, in one, be fruitful. In your business, be fruitful. In your finance, be fruitful. They multiply, increase, replenish the earth. Let the earth be replenished. Subdue it. Then have dominion over the powers in the air, the powers on earth, the powers in the waters. Those are the things God has given you authority. Those days it was fish, creeping things, animals. On the earth. Then the birds that fly. Today it is no longer that. God has given you authority over principalities, powers, the the, the of the darkness of this world the spiritual wickedness in high places the prince of the power of the air of the air the spirit that is walking in the children of disobedience they don't live here they are up there 
but God has given you dominion over them. Have dominion. But something happened. The plan of God for man was jeopardized. So God had a plan for man. Man had a problem. But God made a promise. Did you understand what I said? God had a plan. What is the plan? That is what we have just read. This is the original plan of God. So that you dominate the earth. Dominate everything. Dominate Satan. The position you occupied as a man was the original position Satan occupied. So he became jealous when Adam came. He entered into an animal, craftily deceived Adam, took back his position. And today he is called the God of this world. That position was meant for man. Hallelujah. Satan succeeded in trifling it from the enemy. He took it. But in chapter 4, rather chapter 3, let's look at chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. I'm not going to read all of them. I just want to pick where the problem began. Of course, we already know that the woman had eaten the apple, gave the husband, he also ate, their eyes opened. Before then, the Bible said they were naked and they were not ashamed. But suddenly they discovered they were naked. They went into hiding. They became ashamed. What happened? Have you done what you ought not to do? Why are you hiding? God is asking you the same question. Why are you hiding? Suddenly you are now hiding. At the age of five, at the age of eight, you want to enter bedroom to bath. Something is wrong. Somebody has eaten apple. It is not a joke. Can one five years in a bedroom? We were batting at 12 outside. 12 years. 13. We don't have anything in mind until sin came. Amen. And the Lord said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me and I did eat. And the Lord said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, thou cursed above all the cattle. And above the beast of the field, upon thy belly thou shalt go. What does it mean? Okay, now go and roll up on a cat before. I will boil on roll up on a poor. When I put it up, all punishment. You can have what? You can have this money. Dust shall be your feet food. All high go to the here. Praise the Lord. Then look at the cause of the woman. We are going somewhere. I want you to see how the land had problem. And unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and the in conception. His sorrow shall thou bring forth children, and thy desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam, he said, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife, and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed! Is the ground for your sake? What is cost here? Hello? Cost is what? I see people who they want to do away with sin. They bring water. They wash their nose, wash their ear, wash their eyes, wash their mouth, wash the head. They say these are the things that commit sin. With water. That water is under a curse because the ground upon which the water is is cursed. Whether it is pure water or holy water or ever water, it is unclean. It is cursed. Only one thing makes you clean. Hallelujah. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in it. Let the water and the what? 
Unamazi rock of ages. Let the water and the what? Which flows from the riven. Let it be a double cure for sin. And that is the only thing that cleanses you. Not holy water. So if you like, wash your face, wash everywhere. You as, as far as God is concerned, you, are, you have a symbol of sin. The mark of sin is upon your life. Until Jesus. Until you embrace Jesus. The moment you embrace him, his blood cleanses you. His blood atones for all the nonsense you have done. Hallelujah. Even if you have messed up your life, the moment you become a child of God, you become a chaste virgin. God is seeing you as a new per person. He doesn't know what you have done before. The blood of Jesus has taken them completely to an ocean of forgetfulness. Praise the Lord. This is where the problem of man began. Now look at chapter 4. Sorry, I'm going somewhere. This is the result of the cost land. This is the result of the cost land. Verse Genesis 4 verse 8 And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Do you see? Because the ground is cursed. And God said to Cain, where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I, I, do I know? Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood does what? Cry it unto me. From where? From where? Look at verse 11. Another curse is released on the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth. The earth is cursed for your sake. He made two before he read the next verse, you will see it. Two curses. So the earth has problem. Abel is a type of Christ. Cain is a type of the devil. And the blood of Abel was crying out for revenge. The blood of Jesus in Hebrews 12 is crying out for salvation. I, 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 I don't know if I'm talking to people here. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Abel is saying, kill my brother. Kill him. Punish him. Deal with him. He's calling for judgment and punishment. But the blood of Jesus is calling for what? Salvation. And bless him. He speaks better things than the blood of Abel. That is the hope we have today. It is the blood of Jesus that will heal your father's land. When your father's land is healed, your business will spring up. When your father's land is healed, the, your sisters will be getting married. When your father's land is healed, there will be no more barrenness. There will be no more poverty. I went prayer in a family, they couldn't buy one bottle of olive oil. Olive oil, that time it was 450. When I was 50 naira. Oh yeah, with a hundred. A check it day of Fazia. In a family of 150, they gathered outside. And now I throw go. Can you have Rodia? Poverty. It will not be your portion. Oh, you had dinner. Then when I ask somebody, the eldest person to stand up, give us the history of the family. That is what we usually do. A boy of 49 stood up. I said, no, we are here. The oldest, 49. I said, we are standing Even where we are standing, early don't matter there. On we came, today the family, the oldest person, 49, my heart trembled. And as soon as we entered that land, prayed prayer, no more death. They keep calling us on phone. But see how many Thanksgiving, after five years of our coming, no death, they invited us for Thanksgiving. God will arise and fight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, they can wait till the clock. I 
I want to tell you one or two things. Praise the Lord. Please get understanding of these things to help you. Amen. Amen. Lamentation chapter 5. Anything in Horodia in Lamentation is what you find in a land that needs deliverance. Lamentation chapter 5. I will read from 1. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Negenti, so that you know whether these things happen to you or your family. Say, our inheritance is turned to stranger. That inheritance could be the land. The strangers are talking over our land. Hello. Now look up here. Let me explain the stranger. Ananagi legally belong to you. Where? If you go to that land to build without prayer, they will finish your business. They will tell you that they are the original owners of the land. The goddess of the land, the powers that control the land. It's your own owner. It may have a web foundation. Foundation now, he may have a call down on media machine. Oh, we need to go to the block. The block is a green. There are powers. The powers of the land. Why do you think the occultic men, they will use blood of animal? Sometimes they use human blood. Some of the houses you pack into. Before I run on, nobody can hide me. If I say I pop out the compound, don't wear a gag. Praise God. Once you make such sacrifices, you are saying this house belongs to Satan. Offers the key, then you're not get. I'm here, dear. Do you wear better? Do you get what I'm saying? We are for you tonight. Those of you now run or you know, push your nose up. Praise God. It is not actually that you have sinned. You made a mistake. Mistake in me, God was not involved in your plan, in the project. In the account again. 10 million, 15 million, 5 million. And can't get any bungalow. Sometimes they borrow half on Lagos. Oh, where does it? I can do it on the Zoshi. No prayer. We have, we have that 15 million. Eh? Ike rikidiye rikidiye Block a gang up with him And I wonder Since he malitrate this thing God was not involved The land is so powerful And I'm one man And I told you They initiate you into covenant They think it's a joke Obalatule obalatule It is not a joke The land is so powerful And then as open with empty I'm going to prove it to you in the Bible. Praise the Lord. What God will do tonight is to liberate your land. Your land will be liberated if you have been liberated. If you are a child of God. There are two places the land got healed. And that land will only be healed for people who already have Jesus. You are into a new covenant, the covenant of a Calvary blood. But Jesus no no be he was bleeding from head to toe. Am I, am I right? That is an atonement. That is the correction of the cross. As if that was not enough. The first place he went was the, the mountain of Gethsemane. We had the Bible said that the sweat, sea, and hop, that they can get thick blood. So that blood also poured out on the ground to heal the land. So the moment you become a child of God, you benefit from the healing of the, of the land that happened on the cross. What I tell you are mysteries. I want you to get understanding. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mother as widows. We have drunk on our water for money. Our wood is sold to us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We have given hand to the Egyptians. In our young believers, 
Because now Jesus is saying, Muramu, or Chineke Gardens, and the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have, we have borne their iniquity. Servants has ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hands. Yeah, yeah, they may not know, no, and they are more of a born. Now, because of time, go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. I'm rounding up now. Jeremiah. Chapter 22. Are you there? We are talking about the land. Jeremiah 22. Are you there? Please look into your Bible. Very interesting. Very interesting. 28. Is this man, Coniah, a broken, a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? Now look at verse 29 and tell me what you see there. Can we read it together? 29. Want to go? Oh, et, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Can you hear et here? Allah. So now I'm we're empty. I was telling you here, you may think I'm just saying, and I'm we're empty. I'm we're on all this. I'm not going my own way. On I told you, I'm going my own. On the rich hand, yeah. I did believe, yeah. I need to read. Here is the word of the Lord. Now look at this. Konaya was a king that didn't do well. In fact, the full name is Jeconiah. They they shorten it here. He, he, his rulership was hopeless and useless. He, he was a disgrace. And God was not happy with him. And that is why God is cursing the land. Because of Coniah. Is he a, a despised, broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? He said, why, why, why is he cast out? He and the sea. And they are cast into a land which they know not. Oh, earth! 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 Hear ye the word of the Lord. Look at the next thing that follows. Thus saith the Lord, write ye this man. What? <laughs> God bless him. Hello? The mysteries of the land. And now we're writing material. Hello? And now we're again. Eh? And now we're again. God is saying to the land, write a record book. I went to my record book yesterday. People don't understand. The land has a record book. Write this man childless. Write him a man that will not prosper. What in the Bible? A man that will not prosper in his days. No seed of this man will prosper. No, none of them. Every member of this family or descendants will be poor. That's a cause. You are finished. Because that land, 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 because it is from the land. I get better. Hallelujah. On your open and never laji. Kai. Alabashada. You open a maduku runyala. It is make it deki. You don't know what I'm saying. You don't understand. Somebody can enter your father's land, lay hand there, begin to evoke some dangerous powers against you. In all Lagos, you, midnight you can't pray. Serve God well, you will not serve him. You become the first victim. What is the way out? Second Chronicles chapter 7, 13 and 14. The Lord says, If I shut up heaven, that there are no rain. Are you struggling? When there is no rain in the land, what do you get? Drought. What did I call it? Drought. That is drought. 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 
Because there is a closed heaven. God said, if I shut up heaven, he didn't say a witch does that. That there will be no rain. If I send my, my, my soldiers to devour the land, if I send all manner of plague, sickness and disease to my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then the promise I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. What's the next thing? Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. I wish I had enough time. When it comes to deliverance, God has given me grace. Praise God. I started by delivering my own family. I'm from Polygamous home. 17 of us in number. Three wives. My mother was the last. Out of the 17, we are three now in Nigeria. The rest are outside. Somebody paid the price. But there was a time when I got to school, no job. I know when I know long way. It become a laughing stock to people. But today things have changed. Things will change for you. Amen. You can't continue like this. We cannot continue like this. The last thing we will do here is to lay hands on the ground. This ground will represent your father's land. We will speak to it. Did you hear what I'm saying? I want you to do everything here by faith. It works. It works. If my people which are called by my name shall do what? That is the first thing to face from you. For your land to be healed, you must have humility. The next thing is what? Pray. That is what we want to do now. Prayer. Then seek my face. Somebody was saying, what is the difference between prayer and seeking God's face? Go to the mountain or go to the camp. You will see the difference. You don't seek God in one your room. Hello? To seek something. And God honors it. You left your house, left your business, left your comfort zone to a place. Did you know where David went to seek the faith of God? In Psalm 63, verse 1, he said, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul tested for God. My flesh longed for God. Where? In a dry and thirsty land. Desert. God got a camp. Where there is no water. What is it there to do? To see your power and your glory. As I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. For your loving kindness is better than life. And a group where you are Yahweh. In my meaning of Yahweh. In my meaning of Yahweh. You will not allow headache to cause you to look for somebody to lay hands on. Authority. You have to repent on behalf of your family. Humble yourself and pray. Let's begin to pray now. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My family and I have sinned. Our forefathers who committed the sin have died. But Lord, because we are the ones alive, we are repenting on their behalf. We are asking you for mercy. Forgive the sins of atrocity, the sins of idolatry, the sins of bloodshed, the sins of occultic consultation and participation, the sin of slave trade. Ask God for mercy. Surely he has been a great. I'm not going to pray a long prayer because there's no time. Just clean up the mess on your behalf, on behalf of your family. Then we release a prayer point. My transformation, Jesus, husband, my grave was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. By his tribes and he. In Jesus' mighty name, we Amen. pray. Amen. I want you to take this land as your father's land. And we can have a run for 15 years. 
he get run on now. Hello, by faith he get run village. People say I can allow. We want to we want to talk to the land. By faith. By faith. By faith. The hand you are laying on the ground, you are laying it by faith. You are the one to deliver yourself. The message I got, the topic I had said, deliver the land. He didn't say, let the man of God do it for you. Please, as much as possible, let the children be quiet. Are there no teachers there? This is a very serious moment. You are going to speak to this land. And I nugget. I want you to shout, Oh earth! 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 earth of my father. Hear the word of the Lord. Any evil, any pronouncement, any evocation, anybody has spoken to you against me. Vomit it now. Open your mouth and declare. You open a mouth of Allah and nugget to make it do no. Command the land, speak to the land, speak to the land, speak to the land, vomit it, vomit it. They say you will be poor. They say no member of this family will succeed. He's a liar. Declare it, declare it, declare it. Sayala Babakunda Bosh. Anything spoken, anything written by any authentic man or woman against me in the land. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Vomit, 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 vomit. Every pronouncement, begin to reverse it. They say you shall be poor. Declare to the land, I will be rich. They say you will not conceive. Declare to the land, I will conceive. You will not fail. They say you will be a failure. I will not fail. They say you will not live long. Everybody will die prematurely. Declare to the land, I will live long. In Jesus' name we pray. Now listen, please lay your hands, lay your hands. Say, Oh, ye land of my father. Hear the word of the Lord. Release my money. Release my children. Release my business. Release my womb. Release my husband. Anything in our church, oh, tell the land to release it now. Open your mouth and declare it. You are declaring the word of the Lord. You have authority in your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Release. Release my finances. Release my job opportunity. I will not be a vagabond. I will not be a failure. I will not be a laughing stock. Oh, earth of my fathers. Release my virtue. Release my blessing. Release my finance. Release my business. Release my children. He can come from the land. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Deliver the land. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, finally, listen. Say, O land of my father, hear you the word of the Lord. Bito Tagawa, Igamip Tazere Matan Ogu. Declare it to the land. Declare it to the land. Declare it to the land. The era of Atanogu is over. Hey! Ha, ha, ha.
Barak. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Right there where you are kneeling, I want you to shout amen when I declare, make a declaration. Praise the Lord. I speak into your father's land. Hear the word of the Lord. My God and my King, I pray. Let your seven thunders visit our families. Uproot their charm. Uproot their juju. Uproot every sacrifice. In the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet and lift your hands. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. All I need from you now is amen. And then I'll close. Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. any family or land that is covered with the darkness, I say tonight, let there be light. I rebuke you. You spirit of infirmity. You spirit of failure. You spirit of barrenness. You spirit of poverty. You spirit of untimely death. I command you in the name of Jesus. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. In the name of Jesus. Lord, now that your children have repented of their sins and they have declared you as their Lord and Savior, I declare their land delivered. I declare their land healed. Healed of poverty. Healed of failure. Healed of disappointment. Healed of untimely death. Healed of chronic disease. In the name of Jesus. Finally, Lord, I pray, any man or woman that is evil, that we go to satanic places to carry juju and bring it to our family so that life will be difficult. Father, as soon as they enter, let our father's land open up and swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the land is holding against you, I command the land to release. 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 In Jesus' name. Begin to thank him. He can live. He can live. Give a praise, give a praise. On your Hello, Megide. Ala Megide. Hello, na la Megide. Mo si no gaga dire mo nama. Hello, Megide. Ala Megide. Hello, Megide. Ala Megide. Lunala me gide mo se no gaga de re mo na ma. Lunu me gide, ala me gide. Lunala me gide mo se no gaga de re mo na ma. Lunu me gide, ala me gide. Lunala 
the blood of Abel. We are in the land of Lagos. The land of Lagos will never drink your blood. Lift your voice and shout and my father, my deliverer. I declare I hear say my father, my deliverer. I declare the land of Lagos will not drink my blood. 
We're not in the blood of my children. We're not in the blood of my husband. We're not in the blood of my wife. You can pray. You can pray. You can pray. Pray, get a leg, get a swag, get a leg, 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 get a Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we have declared. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Child of God, are you still here? In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, tonight, in one voice, in one accord, by the authority in the name of Jesus, we declare as a church, the land of Lagos will not taste our blood. The land of Lagos will not taste our blood. The land of Lagos will not swallow your blood. Lift your voice and shout Amen. As you stand here tonight, the land of Lagos will not take the blood of your wife, not the blood of your children, not the blood of your husband, not the blood of your parents. Lift your voice and echo Amen. As the Lord lives, as the Lord lives, as the Lord lives, you are not a victim of the land. You are not a victim of the wickedness of the land. You are not a victim of the troubles of the land. Hey, the land of Lagos will yield an increase for you. The land of Lagos will yield an increase for you. You will not be resisted by this land. You will not be opposed by this land. You will not be rejected by this land. Lift your voice and shout a metric. Number two. Number three. As you say amen tonight, this land will bless you. 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 This land will bless your children. This land will bless the work of your hands. Lift your voice and shout a metrics. Number two. Number ten. Amen. Amen. You have prayed tonight. The land will release what belongs to you. Iye gobona anaji agwara na koji de. Enye ra instruction koji de. Enye na command koji de. Enye ra any kind of instruction koji de. Listen to me as you have prayed tonight. They are releasing to your head. They are 
release into your hand. They are released into your hand. They are released into your hand. Your husband is released. Your children are released. Your conception is released. Your prosperity is released. Your blessing is released. Your promotion is released. Your lifting is released. Your miracle is released. Your moving forward is released. Lift your voice and say amen. They want to make a reference. They say, Anaji Ebaha. In other words, Ebaha, he can't move further. He can't make a step. Listen to me. On your Buna Neba tonight. And there is, there is an influence that Anajigi anywhere. Anajigi that you are stationary, you are immobile. By the blood of Jesus, uh, we secure your release on 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 uh, 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 In the name of Jesus. Anamanjigosa. 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 By the blood of Jesus that drunk on the ground. And the Bible said there was a mighty earthquake. By this same blood tonight, we secure your release. We secure your release. We secure your release. We secure your release. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed now. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Listen. Father, as a church, we lift our voice. Don't pass a decree tonight. In one faith and one accord. The land of Lagos, we the land of Nigeria, we never reject Christianity. The land of Nigeria, we never reject Christianity. The land of Lagos, we the land of Nigeria, we not resist Christianity. You will not reject Christianity. You will not reject the gospel. All land of Nigeria, all land of Nigeria, all land of Nigeria hear the word of the Lord you will not reject Christianity you will not resist Christianity you will not oppose Christianity in you Christianity will not die in you the gospel will not die if you are here lift your voice and shout a metric number two number three And the Bible says in Psalm 24, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Let the King of Glory come in. Tonight, the mighty man in battle walks into your life, walks into your family. Hey, Holy Ghost, like a day. I pray to Jehovah in our various families, in the and our family compounds. Lord, we pray. Lord, be enthroned in our family. Lord, be enthroned in our families. Lord, be enthroned in our families. In the name of Jesus. And you make us this in our life. I am make us in our various lives. I am a gese, I am a gese. Jehovah, I am a gese. Be at your one in my sin, Ola. Be at your one in our compounds. Be at your one in our lands. Be at your one in our communities. Be at your one in our villages. Be at your one in our towns. Be at your one in our states. Be at your one in Nigeria. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. And all the time. Put those beautiful hands together for the Lord Jesus. 